Hmm. Okay, where did I have this before? Let's see. The other way, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Get out of there, you bastard. Let's see. Goddamn cameras always getting in my way. All right, let's get you. Uh, let's get you on there. All right, one more time. That's where I want it. Okay. And of course, there we go. Good. Lock one in there. Barely hand tightened. Funky camera thingy. Yep. This has got to be a new one of these things, too. I'm going to win awards for the production value of this fucking YouTube channel, ain't I? Am I right? Yes, sir. America. Yeah. You good? You know. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. And that glass and that stone are just amazingly clear. Turn my check up. Woo! That reticle. So bright. Eye relief. Hmm. Can I go any more far forward with this? I think it's pushed up about as far as it can go. I 
you don't want to bridge. Got to tighten that one up a little bit. That do anything? A little bit, a little touch forward. The base is not bridging. Cool. The only complaint about that Steiner is that 10 hour battery life. That's ridiculous. All right, so let's say she's uh, in a better place. I still want an ESFH, an FDE probably for it. I gotta order one of those. Um, I'll get an empty American mag for now. I need to get one of those uh, polymer stands. I keep seeing, so you can stand your gun up on your on your bench. I don't know how those dudes get their guns to. St I see them post pictures where they just stand them up like this on a mag, and I'm like, Psh, you must have a whole different version of gravity and physics in, in your neck of the woods, because my shit just wants to fall down. No. Oh. All right, so cool. Another little tiny thing done. Put a live mag in there carefully. She's hot. I gotta get that other uh, camera thing. Start using that. It's a big bitch though. This one's cool because it's so easy to move around. It's just a shame the thing broke early on. You don't like these buckles on these slings, do you, buddy? Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah, it's always something. This won't. There we go. <sighs> All right. One other tiny little bitty thing down, and a thousand more things to do. Also, I have to learn how to become proficient in shooting the damn things. Piece of cake. All right. So, the reason I keep going back and forth on the barrel on this guy is because part of me originally I had the 10.5 Sons of Liberty in there this is a 10 inch combat rail I believe right I got a thousand tape measures and I never have one when I need one Find the damn things. I'm gonna use this big 35 fucking foot bastard. Let's recheck that. All right, that looks like it. that's a ten and a half inch combat rail. Now I was running a ten and a half inch barrel, so it was basically just poking out like this other one is on the uh, Geisley. And the reason I keep hesitating on getting the 12.5 because. Another part of me wants to take that 14.5 out of that Noveski and put a 16 inch in, maybe a Triarch, and then use the 14.5 elsewhere so I can run a, one of my SOP mods on the Noveski. Granted, a pin and weld could resolve that as well, and or SBR status, but let's face it, the goal is to spend the least amount of money possible on this. 
But the issue I'm having is, where can I reuse the 14.5? This ADM is a 10.75 rail. 14.5 would be pretty excessive. 14.5 on this 10.5 would also be pretty excessive. I mean, it's doable. I'm just hesitating as to what I want to do. And another part of me says leave everything as it is and just order an 11.5 for this guy. Easy peasy. Do a son's 11.5. Call it a day. 12.5 would work for this guy. 11.5 over to this guy. And 10.5 back to this guy. So I'm just keep going back and forth because I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I mean, you can solve it with pitting and welding to run SOP mods. You got your small percentage of these dudes like, oh, screw the government, just, just run it anyway. Yeah, sorry, I'm not breaking any rules. I just got into this gun thing. I want to do everything by the book. Uh, so, and that's why I'm so friggin' indecisive. I keep going back and forth. Do I leave everything as it is? And just pick up a 10.5 or 11.5 for this guy and just call it a day? Do I grab a 12.5 and start doing this swaps, put the Colt back in the Geisley? 11.5, take the 10.5, put it back in the 1.0, and put the 12.5 in the ADM. Do I use the 14.5 over to one of these builds? And then put a 16. You know, that's why I keep going back and forth. I know I'm really indecisive, but... I gave Noah one of my 10.5 Suns barrels a while back. I don't know why I did that, but he seemed like a good guy. and just wanted to be cool. Uh, I wish I still had it, because it would be in here. So that's why I'm going back and forth as to... I don't want to buy a barrel and then regret it. And then, I know it's just... You can just add it to your parts bin if you change your mind thing, but I have to think about the, the financial end of it too. So that's why I'm so back and forth indecisive. If I was rich, I wouldn't give a shit. I'd have three and a half fucking every size, you know, but I'm just trying to think before I act. I can be rather impulsive sometimes and then regret my decisions. Anyway, cool. This, uh, this should be a stopping point. Not sure what else I'm going to do right now, but uh, I'm just happy to not be in pain anymore. Good times. At any rate, in closing, and my rambling, uh, this turned out pretty good. ODG in the house looks better than the black. I don't want to order too many pick rail versions of this handbrake because I can only run the true pick on the Geisley rails. I have adapters. I can run the pick on the M-Lock, but I don't want too many points of contact where you have potential for a failure if it's pick run pick if it's m-lock run m-lock i mean you can run the adapters i guess it's not a huge deal as long as you have them nice and tight but all in all i'd say it's pretty cool this guy might go back to being a true dedicated clone with the 11.5 colt back on it strip all the fde off and just move it around but for now i'm having some fun with the multicolor. that green and fde do look kind of nice together i'd like to get a, a C1 Badger mount with a J arm in the uh, the FTE Anno uh, for this guy. I think that's a good way to go. Maybe the ODG Delta from ADM, but I kind of want the ability to run that J arm. You know, I could always, if I ever get an RMR for this guy, I could always run the 509 as a uh, secondary or even one of the Hall of Sons. Who knows? But, you know, we'll mess around with it here and there. We'll go forward, have some fun with it, figure it all out. All right, cool. That's about it for this video. I am uh, patiently awaiting the delivery of a new espresso machine. It's been four years almost since I moved up here from South Florida. Have I had a decent cup of Cuban coffee to save my damn Irish life in that entire time? So I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I want my own espresso machine where I can make cappuccinos with the frothy milk, learn some latte art. I want to be a barista. Maybe I'll even start a whole new YouTube channel. Firearms and coffee. I'll have to come up with a, with a cool name. Or just incorporate it into Phoenix Project or change Phoenix Project altogether to a whole new channel name. Who knows? Have some fun with it. That's what we need. An extra caffeinated Jake Merrico messing around with loaded weapons. That's going to go really well. Yes, it will. Okay. So <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
I'm always careful and safe. All right, so uh, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. What's up, Mr. Wick?